Hey, what's up, guys? Moen360 here. I'm here to do a video a tutorial, a PowerDirector 11 tutorial, on how you can add a logo or a watermark uh, to your videos um, with PowerDirector 11. Um, so, first in the sidebar here, click on uh, PIP Objects Room, and then on the top, you have a few options. You have a few clickable things. Click on this uh, drop. Uh, cl click on this paper with a plus sign that says create an image PIP object uh, from an image so click on that and then it will uh, open up the uh, pick your pictures uh, directory and choose the uh, picture you want you want and then it will launch uh, the designer the um, PIP designer you can um, place you can make your uh, picture smaller larger and place it wherever you like um, so yeah and you can you're gonna put it here and one another and then on the left here you have a few um, effects and uh, cool things you can do with the picture to make to enhance it or look make it look better in my case um, something good to know is if you, if you have a background on your image that's not like transparent or that's not like white or like have black or something you can click on chroma key bring the eyedropper and then click on the background and as you can see the uh, white the white background is gone and you're left with this transparent um, no background image which is really uh, good for watermark wa watermarks since uh, you don't want to have a background for your watermark because that you want it transparent so yeah you can do that and you can also apply a shadow um, so play around with this stuff and see which one fits your needs and so after you uh, resize the customize the place wherever you want uh, click save and give it a name name it logo and then click OK and now that template you just designed the the logo we just designed will will for will will forever be in your PIP objects room until you delete it, of course. So it will it will always be there when you need it. And uh, so now we're actually gonna test this watermark into a video. Let's see if it actually works. So um, uh, drag any video clip down to the timeline that you would like to have your water to have the watermark on. Um, and then go to the PIP objects room again. Your f this is the uh, watermark here. So drag it down to the second track below it. And as you can see, um, as you can see, the watermark is displaying here. And if you play it, the watermark will show. Um, you can also uh, change the time how long you wanted to show or move it to the certain point in the video would like to show um, and you can also yeah just move it, m replace it position and stuff like that so um, yeah that's how you add a watermark to your videos in PowerDirector 11 hope this video helped and if you have any questions feel free to leave it down in the comments below be more than happy to help you with it so um, have a great weekend, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.